Now the Switch Sports that is a successor of the Wii Sports that was a huge success on the Wii console thanks to the innovative motion controls is out, it seems to gain a similar interest among players. And you may wonder how the motion controls that made the series popular work. The Wii Motion worked differently compared to the Switch Joy-Cons. But this time I will concentrate on the Switch motion controls. It uses the accelerometer and gyroscope, technologies found in all smartphones, PlayStation, Xbox controllers and other tech to make it possible. An accelerometer is a device that measures the vibration or acceleration of motion of a structure. The force caused by vibration or change in motion causes the mass to squeeze the piezoelectric material which produces an electrical charge that is proportional to the force exerted upon it. Accelerometers and gyroscopes can be found in almost all modern smartphones and in a lot of robotic applications. They can help us get information like how fast our device is moving and in which direction, or if it's turning and how quickly. Accelerometers detect linear acceleration of devices, there is the acceleration along an axis. Gyroscopes on the other hand work with Coriolis effect instead of acceleration and it detects an angular velocity how fast the body is turning. In order to get the angle position, you have to integrate it over time. Both accelerometers and gyroscopes are usually found inside an inertial measurement unit or IMU. It's a package containing accelerometers, gyroscopes, magnetometers, temperature sensors, etc. They are formed by a combination of semiconductor and microfabrication technologies using micro-machining to integrate all the electronic sensors and mechanical elements onto a common silicon substrate. The most common sensing method used in the accelerometers and gyroscopes is capacitive sensing, in which the change in capacitance between the fixed electrodes and proof mass is used to determine body acceleration. In this differential capacitor, we measure the difference in the charges that form in the bottom capacitor, the bottom and middle plate, and the top capacitor, the middle and top plate. If we apply an equal potential difference to both the capacitors while keeping the middle plate exactly between the top and bottom plate, they will have an equal buildup of capacitance. Now, if you move the middle plate closer to the bottom plate, the capacitance of the bottom capacitor increases while the top one decreases. And then translates it into data used by games. So the technology used in the Joy-Cons is simple yet magical enough to allow us natural controls to play games in ways we would behave in real life. It's fun and also very simple for casual gamers that attracts new customers to Nintendo consoles and involves them into gaming. And have you played the new Switch Sports? How do you like it compared to the Wii Sports? Comment, share, subscribe and see you in the next video!